Hey everyone, welcome back to my channel. So this video is a little bit different, you guys. Usually when I start a video, I have my entire face like makeup all done and everything. But this time I'm starting obviously with like a blank canvas. Well, technically it's not that blank just because I have um, SPF on and other like skincare stuff. But besides that, like no makeup on my face, right? So this video is me picking out let me backtrack. This video is me basically picking the items you guys picked on my Instagram story. So if you're not following me on my Instagram, if you want, you can. It's at guacamole21 or links are provided down below. Anyway, so basically a couple days ago, I posted like a poll and I gave you guys like options between two different blushes, two different highlighters, or two different uh, eyeshadow palettes, and you guys voted which ones to use. I got those all gathered right in front of me, and I'm gonna basically create a look. So, if you're curious what look I'm gonna create and which items were picked and got the most votes, well, I guess stick around because this video is about to get started. I guess technically it did get started, but I'm gonna start putting on makeup. That's what I'm trying to tell you. All right. All right, so I did forget to mention primer in my IG like story vote poll thing. So I'm just gonna go ahead and pick out a primer on my own. I'm gonna use the Laura Mercier Pure Canvas Primer. This just gives you that nice glow, you know, the glow from within look. So taking a little bit on my hand, just like that, and we're going to place it on our face and just using my hands I'm going to just place that all over my face and gently rub it all in. So my primer is on and now it's time for foundation. That I did post on my IG story. I'll put like a picture somewhere on the screen indicating like what the results were. But for my foundations, I had two options. It was either a foundation by Wet n Wild, and this is their Dewy Foundation. I did do a review on this, so if you haven't watched it, go ahead and go watch it, of course, after you watch this video. Or the other choice was, instead of a foundation, more of like a tinted um, SPF type of lotion, like a tinted lotion. So it was between these two, and I did do a review on this as well, so go check it out. But I thought everyone was going to pick the tinted lotion. I was wrong. Instead, a lot of you guys picked this one, which is the Wet n Wild. And let me check my phone. You guys who voted for Wet n Wild, 70% of you voted for Wet n Wild. And then the 30% voted for the... Uh, Laura Mercier Tinted Moisturizer. So, sorry for those who voted for this, but today we are going for the Wet n Wild Foundation. And this one, you guys, again, is in the dewy foundation realm. So what I like to do is just put some on the back of my hand and just dab a little bit here and there all over my face. Of course, if you want like a, you know, fuller coverage, you can always do that by adding on more foundation layers. And then just taking my Morphe brush. This is the Morphe M439 brush. I'm going to just blend out all of that foundation. So my foundation is on. Next, you guys, is concealer. So the two I gave you guys the option for was the, um, the Estee Lauder Instant Fix Concealer in Hydra Prep and 24 Hour Concealer or the Bare Skin Bare Minerals Concealer. This is the Complete Coverage Serum Concealer. So these two were the choices, and can you guess which one won? Well, the Bare Minerals just took it, and they are the winner. So those of you guys that voted for Estee Lauder, I'm sorry, that is not what we're using today. So take your Bare Minerals, or I guess I'll take my Bare Minerals, and place it right under my eye just like that, down my nose. And then what I like to do is really highlight the center of my face. I feel like that's like a really flattering look. And then just taking my Blendiful, I'm going to just blend all that out. All right, so my 
concealer is on. Let's go ahead and set all this together. So for the setting powder, I took out the Urban Decay. This one is Urban Decay All Nighter. This is their waterproof setting powder. Let me show you guys what it looks like. Looks like that. And I've hit pan, which I'm super proud of. And the other choice was the Hourglass. This is their Hourglass Translucent Setting Powder in Veil. And if you open it up, that is what it looks like on the inside. So the winner here is the Hourglass Veil Setting Powder. So today we are not using the Urban Decay. I don't even know why I closed it up because I got to open it again. All right, so taking this powder and I'm going to dip it in with the Blendiful and then just set my makeup just like that. And I know sometimes some people like to really leave on their powder for quite a while. But for me, I guess sometimes I do do that. But for the most part, I don't. I, I set my makeup on. And then pretty much immediately, I would take a brush like this. This one in particular is the e.l.f. To, uh, Total Face Brush. And then I'm going to just dust all that off. So I don't really leave my powder on the face for too long. And I feel like because I have dry skin, leaving it on for too long can actually uh, make my skin even that much more dry. So just set the makeup and then, you know, take off the powder. So that is the hourglass on my face. So far, so good. I think you guys are doing a great job picking out my makeup for me. I think my skin looks really nice and... Honestly, I am loving it so far. All right, so that was the powder. Time for the bronzer. And I feel like a lot of you guys love bronzers. So we have two options. One was the L'Oreal True Match Lumi Bronzet. And the other one was the Physicians Formula Butter Bronzer. Now we all know pretty much everyone's, and I think it's safe to say everyone's favorite because it's a drugstore, which means it's affordable and it's physicians formula so i feel like everyone's favorite is the physicians formula which did win in this competition but i'm not gonna lie you guys a part of me really wanted you guys to vote for this one because i mean if you haven't used it i do feel like you're missing out i mean it has the most prettiest little like daintiest reflex of glitter it's not like those chunky glitters but it's just, it's beautiful, you guys. I know this video isn't about this bronzer. I did do a video on it, so if you want to check it out, you can. But, yeah. I wanted to let you guys know my heart was just a little bit broken because, you know, I wanted to use this one. But that's okay. That is quite okay. Today, we're using the Physicians Formula Butter Bronzer. And obviously, obviously... I do love this bronzer. I mean, look, not only have I hit pan, but I've really hit pan. You guys can tell. I don't even have to do a close-up for you guys. Look at that. I've hit pan. Super proud of myself. Every time I hit pan on any makeup item, no makeup gone to waste, you guys. No makeup gone to waste. So, using my butter bronzer, I'm going to take my Morphe brush. This is a nice brush that looks like this and dip it into my butter bronzer. And I'm just going to tap around where I like to bronze up my face. Chisel my chin as much as possible. All right, so I'm looking nice and bronzed up. Of course, butter bronzer is never a fail. Looking beautiful. So next, you guys, I wanna add in the blush, which is my favorite part, you guys. I feel like most people aren't that big of a blush fan. I could be wrong, but for me, I love blushes. They are fun, they're cute, they're flirty. It's just a nice way to look more young and youthful. It's just, yeah, blushes. So the two blushes that I let you guys pick from was first, the Too Cool for School. This is the Jelly uh, Blusher. I was gonna say brusher, but blusher. And this is in their shade Peach Nectar. This, you guys, I think I could be wrong, but I feel like a lot of you guys might not be familiar with this. This is actually a Korean brand. They are amazing. And that is the first choice. 
And the other choice is Glisten by Tarte. Looks like this. So this one has, I mean, hence the name Glisten. It has a little bit of a shimmery reflex to it. Super pretty. So the winner between the Too Cool for School or the Glisten shade can you guys guess? So the winner is Tarte Glisten by 77%, which was amazing. Not mad about it. You guys know that because I do love my little shimmer glitter reflex. I guess since I couldn't have, you know, I guess since I didn't get that in my bronzer, I got it in my blush. So I'm pretty happy. All right. So taking my Tarte blush and then taking this brush right here, this is like a off-brand no name i bought it like a long time ago on amazon i just thought it was really cute so i just bought some they're super cheap not expensive at all looks like this i'm going to just pick some up and we're going to give our face a little bit of blush so and what I like to do is, I know sometimes some people might take their blush and just place it just on the apples of their cheek. But for me, I like to kind of pull it back somewhat like into my hairline. I think that looks really pretty. So pull it back and you guys, if you've been watching my video, you know I love putting blush on my nose. Alright, so just kind of connect that a little bit right on my nose look at that look how cute that looks does that not look cute you guys i mean hmm? i think it looks really good all right so i added in two different types of highlight as in like i added in like one set of highlight to pick from and then another set so yes i'm going to put on two different types just because just want to all right so the first voting poll whatever you call it that I added in was the Dominique Cosmetics in their Gloss Peach Skin Gloss. And to show you guys what it looks like, that is what it looks like. All right, a nice glossy peachy shade, super pretty. And the other option was by Flesh Beauty. Looks like that. It's a little dropper. And let me show you what it looks like. All right, so it looks like that, a little tiny dropper. So. Out of the two, the winner here is the Dominique Cosmetics Peach or Gloss Peach Glossy Skin... Ah, uh, I can't even talk today. The winner is this, you guys. Dominique Cosmetics Skin Gloss uh, Gloss Peach. All right, so that's what it's called, and that is the winner. So we're going to apply this. But before I do, let me show you guys the other highlighter I wanted to use. The other set of highlighters. This, you guys, is more of like a... So it can be a highlighter, but at the same time, it can be like a creamy blush. So it depends on how you want to use it. So the first one was the NYX Bright Ideal Illuminating Stick. All right, so this has like a pinky tone to it, which kind of gives off that, you know, highlighter-y feel. But more of a blush. Do you guys see that? So that was the first choice. And then the other one is another Dominique Cosmetics um, skin gloss. This one is in their shade Sunset Glow. And to show you guys, that is what it looks like. A nice like very light pinky, you know, that, you know, that like shade that's like that perfect pink tone when the sun's about to set. You only see it for like a couple of minutes. You just got to be outside at the right time. It's like that really nice sunset glow, hence the name, sunset glow. So that's what it is. And let me just show you guys a swatch of that just because I showed you NYX. So that's what it looks like. So right here is the Domini Cosmetics and that one's the NYX. So between the two, which one took the cake? Which one won? Well, this time, instead of the Domini Cosmetics, the NYX Illuminating Stick has took the cake so we're gonna use this and this which is the other gloss peach all right and kind of combine them and they say you don't want to put cream over powder but you know what sometimes you just gotta break the rules and do what you want to do and then before I blend it in with my fingers because I'm gonna use my fingers to blend in blend in all the shade I'm going to take some of the peachy skin gloss and then I'll blend it all in just like that. Add a little bit of that peachy gloss right on my nose. 
and right there. I think that looks really pretty, you guys. Look how glossy and dewy that looks. You guys honestly are doing really amazing at picking out my makeup. This is really, really amazing and really pretty. All right, so that looks really good. All right, so I think we're pretty much done with the face. Um, yeah, I think we're done with the face. I'm gonna go ahead and add a little bit of like lip oil, lip balm. I'm using the Beauty Treats Lip Care in jojoba oil or jojoba, jojoba. All right, so my lips are feeling a little bit chapped. Just a little bit, not too bad. I do take care of my lips. So, and this lip oil right here, it's really good. Well, first of all, it's really affordable for $1. If you guys haven't heard of Shop Miss A, you want to check it out because literally everything on there is $1, which is amazing. And their products are actually pretty good for the most part. So, yeah, add in a little bit of lip oil. So, had a little bit of, you know, dryness going on there. Um, let's do our brows. So, for the brows, Normally, you guys, I do my brows first, but for some reason, I've been doing them, like, not first. Something's going on, you know. I want to say, like, Mercury is not in retrograde, or is that what you call it? I have no idea. I don't really believe in that kind of stuff, to be quite honest. But it's fun to, like, talk about and, you know, whatever. All right, so, two brow options. One is the e.l.f. Cosmetics. This is their brow pencil. And this brow pencil is rather thick, all right? but still very good. And the other one was the Anastasia Beverly Hills ABH. And this one is a much more thinner brow pencil. So the winner between the two is the ABH brow pencil. And we're going to use this to do our brows. Of course, first I have to brush my brows out and I'm gonna fill them in. I feel like I should be taking my time with my brows a little bit better. Sometimes I would watch like other like beauty gurus or beauty influencers or people who just play with makeup on YouTube and sometimes they would take their time with their brows. I mean, for the most part, I feel like a lot of people take their time with their brows where they don't even like record themselves doing their brows because it takes that long. I'm like one of those people that take like a couple of minutes, not even like 30 seconds, maybe a minute. Honestly, I just don't take that long with my brows. I don't know. And I think they end up looking fine, but that's just me. Comment down below if you guys take a long time doing your brows. I'm really curious. I want to know if you guys take a long time or do you not take a long time? Let me know. Something else I didn't mention, you guys, on the Instagram poll is the brow gel. I do really love using brow gels, and since I've used the ABH brow pencil, I'm just going to go ahead and use a brow gel from the same brand. Just in the front, because I do like having my brow hairs lifted up. I think it gives a more, like, fuller, natural look. And... You see that? Like, that's, like, lifted up, but that one is not. So, that is what I like to do. Alright, so that is looking good. I have, like, long brow hairs, but I don't have long lashes. I was watching this one YouTuber, and I forget what, like, lash serum brand she was talking about. But she was saying, like, using it consistently, I think for, like, three months or something like that her lashes grew incredibly and she did show like before and after pictures in her Instagram story and I looked at it I'm wondering like all these lash serums out there do you have to like use it continuously and just never stop using it you know what I mean and is it bad for your eyes you're putting it right next to your eye can you go blind from it can you get infected you know I do want to have naturally really long lashes I mean putting on fake lashes is fun and everything but sometimes I just want to have lashes that's just mine and long you get what I'm saying so or can I use like those lash serums and use it once get my results and then just stop using it and you're good to go I don't know. You tell me. Comment down below if you've ever used a lash serum. 
A, did it work for you? And B, are you still using it? You know, I'm really curious. All right, so getting off topic, we are done with the brows. They look really good. Okay, so time for the fun part. All right, so on my Instagram, you guys, I did put two different eyeshadows. The first one was the Dominique Cosmetics Celestial Storm Palette. A quick look just like that all right so these are the shades for the domini cosmetics and the other choice was by tati beauty this one is more of a like natural i mean natural with makeup if you get what i'm saying but a more natural ish tone if you will so let me just show you guys side by side what they look like so that is what it looks like all right and Honestly, I really thought you guys would pick the Tati Beauty just because it's more of a, um, a bigger palette. Um, it has more like natural looking tones in it. But, I mean, I think it was by 78%. 78% of you guys voted for the Dominique Cosmetics Celestial Storm Palette, which I am not mad about, to be honest. I love Dominique Cosmetics. I mean... If you watch my videos, I feel like I talk about them in every single one of my videos just because I really do love their brand and I think Kristen Dominique is an amazing person. So, um, you gotta support an amazing brand and support amazing people. You get what I'm saying? So, this is the palette you guys picked and I feel like you guys are telling me you want me to do like a more not natural, a more colorful type of look. So I'm going to go ahead and try to do that. All right, so let's begin. First, I'm taking the shade called Lunar Eclipse, which looks like that right there. And honestly, you guys, I have no clue what look I'm doing right now. So you and I both are in for a surprise. All right, so what I did here was I'm placing it pretty much all over the socket of my eyes like that. Of course, I want to do the same exact thing to the other eye. So now taking this shade right here, a really pretty pink shade, I'm going to take that. It's called Lucid Dream. I'm just adding that right on top of the first eyeshadow color I placed on. All right, so we have two colors on so far. So far, it looks pretty good. I like it. Um, let me think. Next color, what do I want to use? So, maybe I'll do like a halo eye look. I haven't done that in a while, you guys. So, I guess I'll do like a halo eye look. So, the outer corners, I want them to be darker. And then, the center, I want them to pop and be super light. So, the outer corner, I think I'm going to take... First, take a brush. Which brush do I want to use? So I'm gonna first dip into Zero Gravity right there. And I'm using a really small brush. I'm gonna place that on the outer corners of my eyes. Just on the outer corner. And then that same brush, same color, same shade. Just on the inner corners of my eyes. Can you guys tell the look is coming together? I think it is. Okay, so now on top of that, you guys, I'm adding this shade right here. This is called Black Matter. And I'm just gonna add it right on top. See, you guys, this is the reason why I do my eyes first, but I didn't this time, so we'll be fixing that, so don't worry. Okay, so I have my outer corners all set. They're looking pretty good. You know what? I do wanna kind of add a little bit more to this eye right there. Okay, so I had to fix a couple of things, but for the most part, my eyes is coming along pretty well. Now, because it's a halo eye, you guys, I wanna add some concealer on the center of my lid. And I could use the Bare Minerals, but that one is a more like hydrating formula. I want this concealer to be placed on and dried, you know, like a more drying formula. So I'm using the um, Tarte Shape Tape. I'm placing it on the ring finger and just dabbing the center of my lid. 
So again, I place the Tarte Shape Tape and then dab it on the center of my lid. And really, I'm not worried about it being too perfect. I just want like a somewhat of a blank canvas. So that is what I am doing. All right, so right on top of that concealer, I'm gonna mix in these two colors right here. They are called Stargaze and Electric Amethyst. So Stargaze and Electric Amethyst, which by the way, Amethyst, beautiful, my birthstone. So I literally just mix in the two colors and I'm gonna pack that on right on top of concealer. All right, so right on the center of my lid, I wanna add a little bit more shimmer to it. So I'm gonna take the shade uh, Eternal Light on my fingers, which is right there, and just lightly tap it on top of my eyes. All right, so the eyeshadow part is done, you guys. Now it's time for the eyeliner. We have the LA Girl, the LA Girl Ultimate Intense Day Auto Liner. And the other choice was NYX Epic Ink Eyeliner. And the winner here is the NYX Eyeliner. But of course, this is also one of my favorites. I do talk about this all the time, which by the way, I did a review as well. Check it out if you haven't already. But today we're using the NYX Eyeliner. And for a look like this, I feel like a nice kind of like intense cat winged eyeliner look is appropriate of course do whatever look you want to do but for me i think it's going to be a nice cat winged eyeliner look so let's um go ahead and do our eyeliner real quick okay so my eyeliner is on and i was going to jump into mascara but i do feel like um my eyes are a little bit more top heavy and I, there's like nothing going on in the bottom. So I want to add a little bit of color on the bottom of my lashes. I'm going to take that shade right there. It's called Solstice. And again, using my fingers, I'm going to just add that on the bottom of my lash line. Okay, so I do like that. Now, time for the mascara. So, for the mascara, we have the L'Oreal Voluminous Original. This is an amazing mascara. And another one that I put on the poll was the Thrive Market, or Thrive Market, Thrive Cosmetics Mascara. So, it's between these two, the Voluminous L'Oreal or the Liquid Lash Extension. The one that won is the Thrive Cosmetics. Before I put on the mascara, I'm going to go ahead and curl my lashes. Curl it real quick. If you're curious, this is the Shiseido Lash Curler. Alright, so my lashes are curled. Time for the mascara. Mascara. We're going to place that on. Alright, so the makeup look is almost done, you guys. I am going to do the lips. And for the lips, we have... This lip right here, this is the Korean brand I mentioned earlier, Too Cool For School. And this is more of like a lip tint, a buildable lip tint, if you will. And the other one is a beautiful drugstore brand by NYX. And this one has more of a glittery effect to it. The NYX did win by far, like, you know, they won by a lot. So we're going to add this beautiful shade, which by the way, they call this Bear With Me. Bear as in B-A-R-E. And, and I did forget to put in a setting spray, but you know what? For this, I'm just going to not set my face. It's not like I'm going anywhere. I'm staying home, quarantined, you know, I'm in the house bored, so I'm putting on some makeup. So no setting spray, but there's plenty of setting sprays I do recommend. But um, if you're curious about that, just ask me down below in the comment section. I'll try to reply back to you guys. All right, you guys, here is the final look. This is the look that you guys picked out and made for me. I mean, this right here is all you. It's all you. You guys did this. You did this. Seriously, this is all your work because... I mean, I didn't pick any of these makeup. You guys picked it out watching my Instagram stories and that looks amazing. I am super happy with it. It looks really pretty. I'm loving the eye colors. Great job on picking that palette. I mean, that looks really nice. And yeah, that is, I'm just loving this look. I'm definitely going to take some pictures and post them up on Instagram. Who knows when I'll post them, but 
pictures will be coming soon and yeah i am loving this look thanks you guys whoever participated that was amazing and yeah this is the look you guys i hope you guys enjoyed this video if you did and you like videos like this go ahead and like this video give it a big thumbs up if you haven't already, of course, subscribe to my channel, join the Quack Fam, and I want to say thank you to all those who are newly subscribed to my channel. That does mean so much to me. I am very grateful for all my old, you know, original, still here subscribers, as well as thankful for my brand new subscribers. That means so much to me, you guys, so thank you so much for those who have subscribed to my channel. So. If you're not already subscribed, join us, join the Quack Fam, and of course, you can follow me on my social media. All that stuff is linked down below, or you can type in at Quackamole21, K-W-A-K-A-M-O-L-E-21, all right? So, there you go. That is, that is that. Okay, so, and of course, I hope you guys are staying home, staying safe, staying healthy, and I hope you guys have a wonderful day, a wonderful night, wherever you are. I will talk to you next time. Bye guys. It's been a day, stressing out like crazy. Just wanna be lazy with my girls. It's been a day, we gonna get wavy. Layer on some diamonds and some.